I'm going to mention one man. One man. One man. And I don't know where I have to bring him up, but I have to. This man is named Michael Jackson. Michael sent for me. I went to see him. The boy was in a stupor. He was in a stupor. What you want me to do? Because you know, I am the herbalist. I'm the voodoo doctor. I'm not nobody. He have seen all the millionaire doctors that he paid millions to. I'm the herbalist. Who am I? I say, what you want me to do for this man? We want you to bring his energy back and heal his disease. He's nervous and all that. Well, I'll do that. Two months later, we're in Hawaii. Michael come in our bedroom, my wife and I making love, and this boy come in there while we making love to tell us how good he feel. And guess what he said? I didn't know you could make love, Dr. Sebi. I said, but I'm on the 70. What, what you expect? So that's seven years, eight years ago, right? Ain't no big thing. But to some it is. To some it is. I know a woman make love in the 80s. And they look good. Ah. But all that depends on your diet so michael jackson saw this recovery he said we're going to the pillsbury farm in colorado so we went there nice farm i like aspen he sent for his son his son had a tumor on his frontal lobe that was hurting him for five years omar his only biological son came from Norway to Aspen. Michael said, I want you to treat my son. I had just came back from Guinea and I brought an herb known as Sia. I put the herb in a, in, in a bag and I told the boy to inhale and the boy sneezed 52 times. On the 53rd, the tumor came out at the door, right when he was going out the door. When Michael saw that, Michael then moved us to Orlando. And who did he call? Helga. Who is Helga? That is the boy mother. Michael Jackson, only biological son, mother. Helga from Norway, Oslo. She today lives in Oslo. And she's a dental assistant. She came. She's in a bed. But I didn't know what was going on she wrapped up during the winter so I gave her the compounds went back next day and I'm gonna look stupid I swear I do stupid things sometimes I go back upstairs to see how the lady is doing that was wrapped up from her head to her foot uh, I go to the door, the woman, op a lady opened the door. I said, lady, uh, but she's, she opened the door. Oh, the door was open. She's sitting on the bed. Right. I said, lady, uh, where is the lady that I gave the compounds to last night? She said, what lady? I'm the lady. Uh -oh. I said, how are you feeling? She said, I'm feeling good. Four days later, Michael Jackson and I, no, my wife and I, and some other folks are talking in the courtyard in Orlando. Hey, come, Michael. Say B. Say B. Say B. Helga is walking. Helga is walking. My wife looked at me and said, what's wrong with Michael? I don't know. Helga is walking. So, that's something normal. He said, No. She wasn't walking for five years. She came in a wheelchair from Norway. And then Helga came and hugged me with tears coming down my shoulders and saying, I had not seen my period in five years. It's down today. Wait. Michael Jackson saw himself, his son, and the son mother. One more. His secretary, Grace 
Rwanda. She had lupus for nine years and pain for nine years. She took the compound. Two days later, no more pain and she was sleeping. Two months later, no more lupus. Wait, one more. Michael saw a man that worked at the Pillsbury Farm in Aspen, Colorado, knelt in front of Michael and said, I thank you, Michael. I thank you for coming to Aspen. We went to the dining room. Michael said, why are you kneeling in front of me telling me this? Because you brought Dr. Sebi. I was about to blow my brains out and the brains of my wife and my two boys because the doctor had detected me with a debilitating disease that I would not live in two months and I didn't want to leave my wife here and my children suffering. But after Dr. Sebi gave me these compounds, I knew I'm not going to die. 